So far, so good. It's the RE1 remake of remakes. I don't see what all the fuss is about so far. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. Okay, guys. They are who leads Fox Sound? We just played Metal Gear Solid the Three. Of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. I thought it'd be weird to start the stream with it, Adam. You will have two mission objectives. First. You're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the President of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to you investigate play Metal Gear Solid. the terrorists Surprised have the ability face. to make a nuclear strike. Yeah, the guy who grew up with the PlayStation, Baker. played Tomb What's Raider, Resident Raider? Evil, Silent Hill, and every single fucking classic on PlayStation, just happens to play Metal Gear Solid as well. We'll launch Shocking, a one-man SDV. Here he goes. Here he goes. Thank you, Deckus. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I was the commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mantis with his powerful psychic abilities. Okay. Sniper Wolf. Beautiful and deadly. Beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. Man, I would like to see this game, but Big Boss was Snake. So you got to see Ocelot again. Disposal oh. covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As always, this is a one man sneaking mission. Weapons and equipment OSP. Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Oh wait, I have to play this in my other screen. This game seems awesome, guys. What's everyone on about? You guys don't know what you're talking about. One sec. Oh! 
Okay. We watched the briefing of the Metal Gear Solid one. Let's just jump right in. I'm gonna play normal. Wait, type two. Okay, let's do that. Do this. I'm so pumped to play this because, of, okay, a little bit of backstory. A lot of people fucking hate this game. And yesterday, or all three days that I've streamed the other three games, people compare it to RE3 Remake. But in my memory, it's more like RE1 Remake. So we'll see. I mean, it came out near the same time. It's on the same console. It's one to one so far, so it's already. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. Okay, listen. I hate to burst with people's bubble, but it's already not RE3 remake. Sorry. It's literally the exact same. Oh, the music is slightly different here. Yeah, back by six. No. Maybe after this game. I hope we can beat this game in less than eight hours. Hey, Nemesis. Hello? Oh, no. Hello? Oh, thank God. Is it supposed to be blue? This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. No? Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. I'm playing on emulator. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, the blue looks push nice, the though. pause button and then the A button. When we need to contact and you, then the, A the button. codec will beep. What? When you hear that noise, press the pause button and then the A button to receive the call. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small. I like how they didn't ear. change the graphics no at all. Like you will be able to hear it. Got For this. It. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay. Y'all, y'all comparing this to RE3 remake are on fucking crack, by the way. Like, I know the game probably is gonna go off the rails, but it's it's like it's literally one to one right now. All right, crack. Start and then the A button. What's that shit, though? Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You'd better hide somewhere. Ah, the tank. Start and then the. Okay, this is different. You didn't have to. You didn't have to shuffle at this part. Start and then the A button. Oh, you can dive. Oh, look, they made this part easier. Let's just get in. What? What's that? Is there somebody there? Uh, They're geniuses in this. Okay, wait. Hold your horses for a sec. What the fuck is this music? This music sucks ass.
Oh, shit. No, I didn't mean to wake him up. Don't he's already getting up? Can I choke him out? I, d I don't know how to... I don't know how to choke him. How do I choke him? Wait, can you choke them? No button works. I He looks straight at a wall. The music sucks. That's so unfortunate. to your position. Uh-oh. He's... They're gonna cross paths. No, no, no. Fuck. Okay. Oh, my God, dude. Please. Oh, my God, dude. Get out of here. Don't, 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 don't. Ah, uh, woo! Yeah, Happy New Year, Bone. Happy New Year, everyone. What's up, William? This was not, yeah, this is basically, this is RE1 remake, but Metal Gear Solid. And they fucked up the music. Yo, Laura. What were they thinking? <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Why are people asking for a Metal Gear Solid remake again, guys? We already got it. Look. Jesus. This is gonna be good. Behind D. Look at the cutscenes. Hey, it's less blue now. In front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. She sounds robotic. By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The I guess when you're asked to do the exact same up. dialogue, 
five years later or ten years later. A Heim D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Ari One Remake was a lot easier because the acting in the first one is like among the worst in the entire universe. So, like improving on that was simple. But unfortunately, this game had big boots to fill. Now's your best chance to slip. But it filled him with the exact same actors, so I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Really, Pew? That's crazy. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. Yeah. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and She's data so processing anime now. specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. It sounds like a generic What's wrong? anime Nothing. girl. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. It's the same dialogue. Is, I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But... I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitter. Dude, it's just the same shit. I, I almost want to skip it. As a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic... If you want to get in, sorry, it, the okay, front. no, no, it's the same, it's the exact same. We just played this two days ago. I can't stomach more tutorials. Metal Gear is half tutorials. Like, is this different? Oh, oh, <laughs> they made it go left to right as opposed to up to up and down. Nice, see what. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god, this is so... <laughs> it's... A... Uh, Walmart brand Metal Gear.
I hate the music. What is this shit? Unequip! Hey, at least we go faster in the vents. That's not, not a nice improvement. Ah, uh, I don't know. I might play Metal Gear Solid 4. Not seen? No. You know, I went into this with a blank slate and an open mind. I, I like, I went into it thinking there was no way. Okay, well, first of all, there. Oh no. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation Why didn't they change here. the codex screen? I thought I might be of some use. It's the same. <laughs> There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 1.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. <laughs> Don't worry. They can't hurt you. Alaskan field mice. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat. All right, come on. It's they didn't even change the dialogue. And listen. Okay, it's it's already that the whole argument of oh, Bach, you'll see it's the RE3 remake of of uh no. No. It's the RE1 remake. If you guys think this is more like RE3 remake, you, your, your brains, your, you need to go back to gene therapy. I think this game's problem so far is that it's the exact same but worse, where RE1 remake was the exact same but better. Like, the controls are worse, the music is worse, the voice acting is worse. And why can't I unselect? Dude, you're a fucking cut. It's bullshit. Is the glitch still around? Nope, it doesn't work. I'm, well, they, they, they didn't... Is RE1 Remake the exact same? I thought they changed a bit. They, they didn't change it too much, they just added to it. <laughs> okay, for real, how do you unequip your weapon? You, actually, you, have, you have to actually go select none. And how do you grab? I, I don't know, like... You can press L or R fast, just to click to unequip.
Is it an emulator issue or are you guys remembering incorrectly? Someone that actually played it in the past year, tell me. Oh, or maybe I should put it on the trigger. Is it is it pressure sensitive? It might be pressure sensitive. Okay, one sec, let me save it and I'll do that. Start in A. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Come on, Snake, you can do it. Wait. No. Look at the radar. Come on, Snake, you can do it. But, but that's the action button. It's what I used to call. Look at the... Come on, Snake, you can do it. Why can't I save it? Look at the radar. It... Or... Okay. Sorry, I see. Please save it. Oh, thank God. Um... Alright, let me change the controls. Come on. I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah, one second. By the way, for these like controller things, I'm not fully blaming the game. I'm aware it could be the emulator. Okay, I changed it. Whatever. Press and hold the A button. Okay. Thank you, fellas. This game is on the Steam Deck? Kind of damn cold. Johnny? I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. Woman, not him. <laughs> That's a nice touch to the cinematography. Look at the cinematography. Yeah, it's just not going to work, I guess. That's okay. Is it all the same voice actor, or like most of the same voice actors? Who? Who's that? I'm here to save you. 
You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent in here to save your worthless butt. Is this uh, Fortune's? Really? Or no, that that's the other guy from Metal Gear Solid 2 intro. You don't look like one of them. Who's this guy related to? In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. Maybe no First, one. I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What oh. are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Oh, okay. Well, I'm aware it's decoy octopus, but I meant supposed to be. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Oh yeah, if you guys want Metal Gear spoilers, you're in the right place. We were playing the whole franchise, so I mean. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're not playing the whole franchise. They shouldn't have access to a missile. That's the official story. Got it. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A truly historical weapon. No, I what? said we're doing a cooking a stream, okay? The ability to launch a nuclear attack hey, they got Meryl right at least. On the face of the earth. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Here, it can't be. Rex, you knew. So, what's Metal the guy's Gear name the from Secret Black Projects? Rishnikov, or you know God, what is this freaking name, dude? From we've had a couple of run that originally in the past. made this idea. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site. Why else would I come to a godforsaken? Like Sokolov like helped with the Shagohod, and Brandon I helped with this Gear with the legs. Yeah, okay. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms taking ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. The revolution. revolution. Hey, we're learning. Look. This is nice to play after playing Rex Metal Gear Solid 3. Into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the war here. So it's fallen into the arms Rex. of the terrorists. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping nuclear weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> hey, come on. They tried! Look! That's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. But that, that feels like the Spider-Man No Way Home, like, uh... What was it? Um... What did Green but Goblin say? Nuclear warheads Somewhat of a scientist myself. Measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh. You Not up in there, will ya? Yes, of course. There is a path. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... <sighs> He's gotta take a shit. With me in here? They found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. What's the point Psycho of this guy Mantis. being... Sorry. The What's the point of, of this guy being he decoy octopus? Powers. A puss. Like, what did he even accomplish? This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. 
They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Arms Tech, the system developers. But I mean, sorry. Even without the passwords, More specifically, you can just I mean, the why did they just put like a. Engage the safety lock. I if guess it I makes sense. That, yes. You can stop the launch. I would just like to see what would have happened if they didn't replace that him with decoy. Key. So, where are the card keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. Oh my god, those there fingers. Are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him into an area that has a lot of electronic uh, jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances. <clears throat> But didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for See, the areas where the walls are a different color? In Are You on Remake, they they had. Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together. The with thing that was easier about remaking that field. game is that the dialogue was horrible. So it was really easy to replace, but it's hard. Body as a the writing was so good in Metal Gear Solid Original. Devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. That it's and the doors will open automatically. Like they couldn't really change gotcha. it too much, cause like, how could they? Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. They're trying to tell such a specific what story. You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? Oh, here we go. No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? To the toilet. Love is about to bloom on the battlefield. <clears throat> he got COVID, yeah. Get your shots, people. Okay. Naomi, the chief. What <laughs> that went on a bit long. I, uh, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack? No. Naomi really. Uh, Are you hiding something? From had a me? gun to her head for this Absolutely one, didn't she? Absolutely not, Snake. You've got to understand. This counter-terrorist op is security level red. You'll need the highest security clearance to learn the real story. <laughs> well, you like, Naomi's like a punch in the face, though. Like, she seems bored. <laughs> She's like, I oh. told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. Yeah, why not port the original audience? It's not like they're changing anything. They're just redoing it older. Snake, so it sounds don't worse. Have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Very few people get more passionate as the, as the double-digit years flow in. Especially if it's shit they've already done. I'm not saying not, like I said, very few people. 
Um, we really do need to change these controls. Is is unequipping and reequipping a weapon a free reload in this too? How can I fix this? Has anyone played this on emulator before? Oh, I see. I see, Kenny. It is on the triggers. Like, I cannot tap them lightly enough. It doesn't work. Look. Sensitivity issue. Okay, one sec. Here, let me just show you guys what it looks like. That's not it. One sec. What? Dude. I did that, that wasn't supposed to show up for you guys yet. So what should I change? Like just the... Sorry, no one needs to answer this. L analog, R analog. Do I just lightly hold it? it takes so long to do this. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Yeah, it works now. Sorry, I'm, I'm an idiot. All right, that's probably it. Oh my God, you have to type it so lightly. It's like, <laughs> and if you do it any more than that, it's like, oh my God, that's brutal. Whatever. Change the th so so I, because okay. Do I put it up or down? Because it's like way too sensitive, or wait, not sensitive enough. So I'll put it down, I guess. Yeah, let's make it. Um, let's make it seventy. It's ninety right now. All right, save and close. second. Maybe I actually have to put it up. Right, let's put it at 30 then. Yeah, it doesn't help at all. You know what? Let's put it at one. Sorry guys, I have to do this or combat's gonna be a fucking disaster. Oh yeah, you have to you have to make it you have to increase the number, not decrease it. Right, let's make it 99 then. There we go, that's better. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Yeah, I can't wait to talk about this game. What are you guys saying? Let's see. Oh, mailing. Oh, 
Look at this corpse. The music in this game. Okay, so far. Listen. People are gonna hate this VOD because I'm gonna be a broken record, but um, it's just triggering me yesterday that people were comparing it to RE3 re Remake. This is this is like RE1 Remake if it was done badly, basically. Like if they fucked up the music. Like imagine like Lisa breaks into the cabin and like heavy techno starts playing. Music. I, I always talk about how important video game music is. That's the worst part of the game so far. The voice acting, sure. But man, the music's really fucking ruining it. Oh! Just move. Maybe she married so you him because the chief, you bastard. You bastard. Those are rookie's eyes. No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. Oh yeah, I'm enjoying it. <gasps> How did he... Snake! Oh! Oh my god, this is so stupid. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. That was actually Liar. so good. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence in them. The eyes of a rookie. Oh my you god. Shot a person, have you? That was like cringe. You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety <laughs> off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. Oh, I got. You got a card, don't you? I got a pack, Zach. So we can get the hell out Looks of here. Like be a little delayed. Uh. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. Dude. Okay. How do I grab people? I don't know. Oh, it's so janky. Wait, grab him and choke him. And what? Oh, it's a double press. It's a double press. Dude, I nailed this part in the original. They're, they're, they're just, they're robots. Whatever. Let's just shoot. However the fuck you shoot, dude. God, the controls are fucking trash. You can't even get behind him. You you cannot do the strat that you do in the in the fucking. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, what? Let me get some rations out of you people. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! This is You know what? I try to, like, nail the... Jesus Christ, dude. Thanks for the help. Wait! Who are you? 
<laughs> you fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. enough room for one boss. That section sucked. And Psycho Man is taking a front bill. Good girl. Just like that. Naomi. I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis. She sounds Fox like... <laughs> she sounds Think like a TTS. A loop. I get so, that oh was Oh my Mantis. god. Ugh. Yeah, Mac, you, you, you like? Okay. See, here's what's getting me, guys. I have crouch set to X, so this button, aka the main button that muscle memory for any gamer is gonna spam press, and hit is circle. It's like I'm playing RE0 right now. All right, so I need to make X, circle, and circle X. Much better. There we are. Why would I change? Oh no! Oh, oh, I'm using Xbox controller emulating a GameCube controller, so it probably is fine on GameCube. I, I don't know. You guys think she married him because she's seen his massive junk? Wait, is that the girl from- it looks like the girl from Eternal Darkness. Can I flip the pages? Oh! Oh, is it was her from Tekken. Oh, I see. Guess they just look the exact same. Oh wait, no, it is the person from Eternal Darkness. Same company made- oh, cool! That's neat.
Hey, do the glitches still exist? Oh my. Okay. On the top of the controls, why are codec calls. Okay, so start does nothing. But start and A bring up the codec. Why not just make it start? Like. Do these people not play video games? Okay, we have this button that does nothing. Why do we need a combination of buttons? Holy fucking! What can I do for you, Snake? Good luck, Snake. You called, Snake? Does that, does anyone know the speed run? Can you do the the vent glitches or no? Probably not. Snake, like Shakespeare said, knots had all spent where our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. Oh, it's start and A to exit as well. I'm not fucking with this. It probably doesn't work. In the original, you press it twice. Thank you, Jamie, Dave, Giggles, Stark. Thank you so much for the resubs, guys. What was the guy's name yesterday that said he was done watching because of the resub thing? I can't remember. Brutal Tootie, okay. We need to keep our eyes out for him. No. It, he got mad because I didn't thank him for a sub, but he never subbed. This music. I mean, he was a subscriber, but he didn't share it. And he got mad at me for not thanking him. So he got mad that I wasn't Psycho Mantis, basically. But... It is crazy though, this is so, like, they really did try to do, like, an RE1 remake style remake. Like, it is one to one, so far. Besides, like, one to one for environments and, like, for the most part, the dialogue and everything. Let's see the differences, or one of the main differences is, we're gonna talk about RE1 Remake a lot because it's it's like the same kind of thing. RE1, Resident Evil 1 at the time desperately needed a remake. Everything in that game was bad. The controls, the voice acting, the graphics, like the, the gameplay, they were all low, low quality. But 
since it's like so, sort of the first of its kind, it was one of the best. But as as the as the days went on, the age hit that game hard. Metal Gear Solid is like timeless. It to this day, like yes, it could still use another remake, but like it did not even need a remake a quarter as much as RE1 did. All right, before we do this, <laughs> can you shoot him here? <laughs> Before we do this, I'm just going to refill my coffee really quick. <clears throat> Happy New Year, by the way, guys. I probably will beat this game in... I mean, since it's one-to-one, -one, we could probably beat it in a few hours, and then I'll play uh, something else. and gentlemen what did I miss people are laughing thank you Jimbo Thank you, Beefy. <clears throat> He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No! Don't, don't, don't touch it! Well, it's not only the voice acting in RE1. That's not the major problem, it's the writing. C4. I mean, the voice acting is also bad. Oh. <laughs> nice dodge. Right. Touch that wire and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. <laughs> it's like a parody. <laughs> so you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? I low-key love it. Special Operations Foxhound. But also... <laughs> you good? <laughs> I've been waiting for you 
Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. Aw oh man, this hits different after playing the third one. Those are rookie sands, he's shaking. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Oh, now he cares about gun optimization. I wonder why. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Everything is so extra. Draw. Hiding won't help you. A gun's power isn't it? Ah! 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 <laughs> what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. Ah! It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. Jesus Christ. I'm just getting warmed up.
The car tires. <laughs> oh my god. Pretty good. Who the hell? What does Kojima think of this game? Has he ever said? Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? <laughs> That's oh, a touch of the first ball. Jim sent you. You're from the Pentagon. Really? Answer my question. Thank what you, girls. What about your code? There's no time. I uh, I talked. What? Talked? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Uh, kinda like psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Thank you, Sola. Yeah. Anyway, how did they get your code? I... I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> uh, it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. He's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Mm, looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. The graphics are nice. Snake uh, sometimes looks like... Guy. So the... In some the camera Dapper angles, Chief? he looks like a... Is he, okay? he got bad plastic surgery. Dead. What? It, it can't be. No, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Ah. Calm down. Yeah. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, hey, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Oh, those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. <clears throat> well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. Do you still have the card keys? Card keys? So to override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. Uh, no, that 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 woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Prison? That female soldier. She said that she had just joined up as a new recruit. They, they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Oh, looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. 
But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by codec until I was tied up it here, is. that is. Codec? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If Kodak. she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. L let me tell you, it's... it's... Huh? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, my... Oh, that's right. <laughs> what the hell it was that? It should be on the back of the package. <laughs> Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? I hate the snake. Mm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? That was very good, the, though. The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Thanks Gear from Thanks for your action there is everyone who beat him. this game. What if he can't And then what they did with, with the CD case. Well, you'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage reminds building. reminds me my brother watched it's Terminator 3 on DVD. That's where he worked. And then he took it out of the DVD player, he put it back in the case, I and understand. he smashed it over his knee. Why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The nuclear threat hasn't disappeared. The threat is more real than ever before. He loves Terminator 2 and 1. The amount of spent nuclear fuel in plutonium is increasing even today. Wait, remind me to expand Listen, on that story. Have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? It gets better. No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stack this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to use it or dispose of it. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Muff! Not only that, several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with nowhere to turn. In other words, the arms race, there's though. plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age where any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? The Russians and Chinese still pursue a policy of deterrence. Do you see? Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear? I like how this is basically. Yes. You know our industry. Dino Crisis tried to do this as a result of the story, cuts sort of. Budgets due that to this didn't really dive into the piece. politics of it all. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Black project. Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. Black budget? You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons So production. where did all the money from and the, no um... No one can bother you. Not even that bunch on the military the, oversight um, committee bribes just call it the military the, the, the legacy guy but what's anyway, the what, what, Metal Gear legacy, was going it. to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed i don't give a crap about you or your company yes that's about what i'd expect from a grunt like you Hero still has Here. it. Here. This is what you came for, right? 
What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. It was spent on the main hard drive. drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining is that copy of the data. Cannon? What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. <sighs> they don't know this disc exists. Make sure that you report this to Jim, to your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. <laughs> yeah. So in this game, that Can seems you walk? too long. I, there's so many questions. No, you go on without me. Oh, they got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. Uh, that yeah, ninja? Yeah, Max, yeah. That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <laughs> oh my god, just you die already. <laughs> You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... <laughs> 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 Oh, what? What did you do to me? Uh, oh, no! Oh, oh, no! It can't be! Those Pentagon bastards! So they, they, they actually went and did it! Oh, oh, oh. What are you talking about? They... They're just using you for... for uh, <laughs> what the hell? Hell. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or digoxin. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away what from actually, that area. What actually happens Snake, to the colonel? Get a hold of yourself. Between this game Naomi, and two. What the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake. I'm counting on you. I mean, he retires in this game. It isn't this? This is the game where in the, all the briefing, every single briefing you check, he's like, oh, I got to mention I'm retired. Uh, OK, I thought I didn't know if there's any significance. So I will say about the Terminator thing, but in this game, so Ocelot is like, for those who don't play Metal Gear or whatever, Ocelot's like basically the main character. Um, what is his end game with this particular story, this game? Like if everything goes perfectly for Ocelot, what is his like, what's he looking for in this? So he just, 
Well, that's why you ask these questions. Is you see, it's it's a Metal Gear is such a good game to stream because you instead of going after the after you're done playing, going on like a wiki and going on YouTube videos and shit and asking all these questions, you can just ask your chat. Liquid Dead, him with the Metal Gear optical disc. Yeah, basically his whole his whole shtick is to stop zero. <gasps> well, it's it. There, no Metal Gear Solid game makes sense to me. It's because these you have to realize that these games are hours long and there's, you know, more than five of them. To fully grasp the story is like trying to combine, like, trying to think of a confusing movie. Um, it's like trying to understand every tenant, yeah. Trying to understand every character's story in like all three Lord of the Rings. All, Lord of the Rings is easy to understand, but even for Lord of the Rings fans, tell me every character, like tell me every character that's mentioned in the movies or in the books, you know? And Metal Gear Solid is like that in a way where, like generally if you play through it, you can understand the good and the bad guy. Well, that, that sometimes is a little hard too, but like, Meta, uh, Snake must stop Metal Gear. You know, if you understand that, it can still be enjoyable. But there's like 20 other things to keep in mind. And not only that, but like Metal Gear Solid 3 ha probably has the most basic story. But scrap the politics and stuff. Metal Gear Solid 3 is can be looked at as like a love story. And you can like between Snake and the boss, Snake and Ava and all these all these things colliding like th there's more to it than just politics so it is like the reason these games are hard to understand is there's many things that play at the same time and your, your average person like myself probably just wants to understand all of them at the same time but it's like impossible in one playthrough But yeah, it's, it's really hard to understand Ocelot's uh, plan because he's like, he mentioned in, in we just played Metal Gear Solid 3 and he mentioned how he's a triple agent. Like he, he mentioned to the US that he's a triple agent, but he's not actually fully with the US technically, right? He's just working for his own ideals. Uh, but yeah, my brother with, um, the Terminator thing, you know, I mentioned he's like passionate. He likes Terminator 2 a lot and the franchise and he broke the T T3 over his knee. He went to see the newest Terminator and he told me he was in tears for how much he loved the first, uh, like the first like half hour of the movie. He was in tears with how much he loved it. And he ended up walking out of the theater with how much he hated it. Yo, Dis, thank you for the 71 months. How goes, um... I don't even remember what the fuck that game's called. Yeah, I'm not jumping on that. $10,000? You're doing a speedrun challenge for $10,000. Don't you spend that on Aftershave? What are you doing for Distortion 2? You could make that in 
one a 60 second YouTube ad of Sha or Raid Shadow Legends. Now I know why everyone's jumping on Amok Runner. Amok Runner is a is a it's a double uh, it's a double whammy. Not only do you get $10,000 for the record, but it's also insanely popular for channel growth right now. But yeah, I know why you're doing it, because you're a fucking god. The competition seems tight, though. I, like, uh, there's a lot of people trying for it. Ray and Spice and Maxi and... Oh yeah, I have to call Meryl. I have to call Meryl. Let me just open my codec. Start A. Wait, I don't know her number. Oh my god, what? <laughs> yeah, that seems brutal though, Dis, that game. Oh my god. But I hope it's it's been fun. Thank you, Drop Dead. It's been fun to uh, watch a little bit of. I don't know how to back out of this. One forty fifteen. Oh, hey, you can sort of hear the theme in the background. I will play Metal Gear Rising eventually. What's the cutoff date for the record for that for AMOC? I may play four, guys. I may. I might. I mean, uh, it's it's hard not to because, like, I really want to... Like, I've already beaten four in the past, but, like, when you replay the Metal Gear franchise, it's, it's really hard to remember everything, and I sort of want those... I sort of want all those things to come to a conclusion. But, yeah, parts of Metal Gear Solid 4 are really boring. That's what's keeping me from playing it. No, I don't want to watch a YouTube. I don't like YouTube summaries. Uh, I think four is great, guys. I, I do think it's a great game. It's just it's a very big undertaking. Um, like mentally, like you have to be. It's like my brother's been asking me to see. Uh, Avatar 2 for like weeks now, but the movie theater is like an hour away and then the movies three hours and the ride back is an hour too and it's just like Dedicating five hours to that is just like Ah oh, man Yeah, the the movie theater the movie theater close to my house uh, got destroyed in uh, in the hurricane and they haven't rebuilt it yet. Thank you, Magnus. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be I some know, kind of hero? Friend. I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. Now I'm using What's a 3080. Name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Oh, snake. Just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? 
You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. Music. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Delivery just doesn't Seems hit his heart. DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh. Sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement. Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. How do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go to the- I'm going with you! No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green! Oh yes you are. You're literally green. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. God, it's just the exact same thing, but, but slightly trigger, worse. I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real Th action. This hurts. And now, so this hurts now? much more you when quit? you play the first one quit. and then immediately play I this one. Allow myself to quit like now. myself. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. <laughs> I told you.
I see. I need it. I really want to choke huh? someone out. Dude. Who's there? You Who's that? fucking. What is that sound? Load screen, save me! Sorry, I was so distracted. What the hell am I doing? Thank you, Hopsu. Is she supposed to open this door for me? Oh. Snake, I unlocked the. All right, I'm sorry. I, I just, I just can't. I just can't. I'm so sorry, guys. It's just too much. I mean, I just heard all this. I'm fucking going for it. Oh, fuck. Go, 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 go! Woo! Are they in the same place? Do I have the detector? I don't think I do. Frozen? can happen in the OG version? Really? I didn't know that. Oh my god. This is Raven's territory. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Uh, this again. Send him a message. <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. Like the snake you are. Oh no. Come, let's fight. This doesn't look like it's the same. Oh my. Dude. Don't be claymores. What?
What the fuck is this shit? Any, any, any. Dude, can you? Any more rations? Snake, what happened? Snake! Snake! Guys, this game sort of sucks. Like, the the whole getting hit by the tank and having no iframes, you just get constantly fucking run over, it's like, alright. Gunner too. You're kidding me, dude. This music sucks ass. Like, what the fuck is this shit? What were they thinking with this soundtrack? I like how the. Yeah, the memes are nice, Larksa. But man, the music sucks. Dick, dude.
Lisa's ass. Oh my. Ah, this game is fast cheats. What if he runs out of ammo? Come on out. Dude, I'm aware of the nades, guys. Please. This, okay, this fight is 10 times worse on this version. That, that, I, I got to see a cutscene of it in his lap and it missed. I understand how the fight works, guys. See how you like this. Not saying I'm like, oh, what do I do? There's many things you can do. It's just, it's, it's bad. <laughs> ah! The music's bad. The fight's bad. No, I know some. I know most of you are poking fun, but there are definitely some Twin Snakes fanboys in the chat. Oh yeah, that that that's that's what's fun about this fight in the original Metal Gear. When you figure out the trick, you know you, you hit it a couple times and it's over, and it, it feels great. This is just like a fucking slog. And the music is just like, hello? We got his tires. Not ah! normal. Oh shit. Like it's nothing. Boss. 
boss, is this all right? Just giving him the card like that. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. He lives and breathes combat just like you. I would expect no less from your... You see, I told you so, but I will kill him. General Ivan, I hear that you lost your arm and ran away home. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Hell yeah. No, I don't. Oh, I mean, Sky, this is this is the best. If you want your chat to be active and a lot of people here, this is the best Metal Gear Solid game to stream on in the franchise. You called Snake? Oops. Oh, it worked. Snake. In China, they say, you must cross the river before you tell the crocodile he has bad breath. Do you know what that means? It means that the wise man avoids danger first. Use your brain to avoid traps, and stay away from the enemy. Okay. There's a guy there. We know what he's gonna say. We just played this game. Or, well, we played the remake. I'm playing the D-make right now. They added a bunch of extra lockers, which is pretty funny. What is this button? No! Woo! Any floor! What's that? Yeah, what are you doing tonight, Larksa? I got the message a while back. No people? Oh my god, what the heck? This is different. I hate the soundtrack. It it really it really hurts the game a lot.
Not that that song was horrible, but I just mean in general, it's pretty yikes. This song is like at least similar. There it is. Why all the I mean, I'm I'm just expressing my feelings on the game. What do you want a streamer to just sit there and go Snake, watch a watch out. Go watch that a long place is play filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. And but I'm not how? I'm not complaining, I'm criticizing the game. Controlled missile. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are the you a voice nearby? actor? Who are you? One of your fans. Oof. He's pretty creepy in this one. What? Did they see us? Shit! Oh, can you see him? Oh, I can't. I I seen him on the little map. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. The book. Has it not seen me? Oh, it's easy. Wait, wait. Are people gonna come in here? No. What is it, what, who cares if they see me? Oh yeah, they're just guns. the action. Oh, that was cool.
This is, a, this is a great example of a, a good change in this game where I'm not saying this is better or worse, but it's it's different, which is nice. The first game is super atmospheric here and pretty scary like walking through this hallway and then this is like super badass. I like that they actually showed us what happened. Okay, one second. I... Well, what I, what I mean by that tongue, I don't... Maybe you guys don't understand what I mean. Or maybe you do and you still don't disagree, but... Uh, I mean that it's much better to do something different and it's pretty cool rather than do the exact same thing, but like just worse, like... You know what I mean? Which is a lot of this game, doing the exact same thing, but just lower quality. I'll be right back really quick. Hello, gamers. Ah. Oh. Ah. Here it comes. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Oh, no. Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Thank you, Xenomorph. Oh. oh, what next? You peed twice. Snake. Hey, you're that ninja. Oh, he said I've been it. Waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. 
I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? Oh, I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy this moment. <laughs> What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. He's like Shaggy. What Shaggy is as a Revenge. scientist. It is nothing so trivial as revenge. It's like a fight to the death with you. <laughs> Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <laughs> All right then. Watch from your box seat. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Thanks. Walmart Metal Gear. One second, buddy. I need to dive through this if I can. Wait, wait. Get into the corner. Wait a sec. Do the jump move. I think it works. Maybe you can't. Nah, you hit him three times and he's, he's out. Maybe though. Oh! Ah, damn it. Yeah, it's not working. I want to see if we could cheese the fight. Make me feel it. Get to see where he is? Hell yeah, dude. Not the best landing spot. Ooh. 
What? I can't hear you over the fucking music. They really oh fucked up the good God. moments, didn't they? I like how this boss fight is the exact same. But then the tank one is just like worse. Thank you, Omega. I really appreciate the five. Good to Thank you. Happy New Year. Is it over? Soinks. Oh my god, my voice crack. is Grey Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself in Zanzibar land. Yes. He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? 
Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Grey Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. It's the same VA, but... They revived but him. They fitted him with a prototype her exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this? Yeah, sir? girls, basically. Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The records said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Look at the GameCube with the wave bird. Oh, there's the menu. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? GameCube! Are you one of them? What a freaking console, man. No, I'm not. I always work alone. I love the GameCube. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh. So you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm. Are you hurt? Ah, uh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles, only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. I... No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the President personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but... Are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all, I think. 
If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Mario! Yoshi! Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser yeah, nuclear zero. fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. Like RE1 Remake if, they, if the game was slightly worse. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just all right, theoretical. Well, slightly is a little... So, this exercise was designed generous. to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... Uh, maybe it gets god tier. Damn! Damn! I'm such a fool! It's all my fault. The truth is... You just misheard me, Grumpy Panda. My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program uh, is probably finished. Tungsten. And since they haven't called for me in That's a few my hours, main they must not need me. The soundtrack in other is words, just bad. They must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. Like watching a Star Wars movie with audio jungle over it. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're going to destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <sighs> yeah, there's okay. been some couple OK songs. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl. The engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are oh, you Oh, it's the same music. Very close. There she is. Over there. Oh no. Damn, they spotted me. Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? 
There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not okay. in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. What's wrong? You get a little friendly Fox all die. of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Uh huh. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. Just in case you missed them. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Okay. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. My favorite controller. Wavebird was my favorite controller ever for a while. Oops. Yeah, what's Mario's codec? There's an old Chinese saying, a scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of thank you, my lady Laura. like my friends. Thank you, thank you. I wanted to do applied physics, not just theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The soliton radar system or the codec system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich, too. But 
He was used like a tool. Used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stop making Really, things. East? I don't know. No, you're wrong. There's at least one person whose life has gotten better as a result of your inventions. Me. Huh? Without the Kodak, I wouldn't be able to talk to you like this. Thanks, Snake. Oops. What's up, Snake? Oops. Whatever. All right. I thought she'd just say bye. Do you need a controller in port 2 for Mantis in this game too? It's nice quality of life. You don't have to have the card out to go into uh, rooms. That's, see, that's good. Like, that is a slightly different version of the song from the original. Like, we needed more of that. Maybe it gets better, though. Fuck, just another guy coming? What's he doing? Oh my god. Wait, no, no. Okay. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. <clears throat> You're Meryl. Snake. There's no way you could pass for a man for long. No R1s? What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. <laughs> Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. 
I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a guy who can only find meaning on the battlefield. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You can't stop loving war. Is it the same for all soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? <sighs> My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Thank you, Tay. Shouldn't you just be happy oh, to up like this? Happy New Year, everyone. Whoa! Anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. No but. snake. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. Oh my god. War nerd. This snake is a war nerd. Metal Gear Solid 3 so snake and snake is a guy. How are the nerd. negotiations going? No progress. So okay. it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's gotta stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or we override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. Thank you, zombie, for the tier two. Do? Thank you. Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got him. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so, you became a soldier. I thought I was, until today. Thank you, Jackpot. Now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. 
I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know... Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face, either. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Thank you, Resident Evil. Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Uh oh. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Now you treat me like a woman? Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go Big north, we'll sad. have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Uh-oh. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep that a look. That was my first thought sure playing this ready, game. Okay? Why am I in here? Take her to the bathroom? Like, what do you mean? Like, knock her out and drag her here? Wait, is there a point to do this, guys? Because there's only one person in chat saying to do it. Am I getting trolled? I'll try this. What? What is it? Why are you staring at my... <laughs> Come on, snake. Snake, jeez. Don't stare at me like that. Kojima does it again. <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. What? What is it? <laughs> what the? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you staring at my... Come on, snake. I 
can't stare at her butt. Don't stare at me like that. Oh! God damn it. What are you doing? What are you doing? We've got to get a move on. I would have tried more stuff, but I'm not getting one guide. Ow! My head! Oh, it hurts! What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake! Oh wait, I actually do have two save games on this memory card. This too. Are you okay? What happened? I'm fine. I don't think he's gonna say it though. I see you like playing Resident Evil. Dark Side Chronicles. She's fine. Okay. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Two out of twenty. What they did the music. Thank you, Frederick. for its snake. Like 
Shada Khan. I tried to flip her, but choked her instead. Thank you, Samuel. Useless and Laura Pikachu, and thank you again, Frederick. Optic camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You you doubt my power. Now, Look at the fellas on the wall. I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I am Kojima! Psychomantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. It's useless. I told you. I can read Kojima. every thought. You are a very methodical man. The type that always kicks his tires before he leaves. You are a highly skilled warrior, mm -hmm. well suited to this stealth mission. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious or you are a coward. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. No saved games. Your memory is completely clear. Uh, I have Dark Side Chronicles. You have not saved very often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. No, I can't read you. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Okay. Put it down as flat as you can. All right, All right Snake. That's good. Now, I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. It's not working. Kojima, do something. Kojima! Look at Kojima, guys. Can you feel my power? The demonstration is over. right there.
What is this, that scene from the Matrix? Harder than Ocelot. Wait, why can why can he read me now? Oh, never mind. What? Really? Four controllers, buddy. This better be fast enough. Hamas, Abalatza. Bro, I'm out of ammo. Oh, the lingering hitbox. Bosses are so much easier in this one than in the original. Especially, uh, freaking Ocelot. That was so Colonel, funny. Your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. Whew. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off. Right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's oh, sake? Oh, you know. Or maybe it's because you like her. I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that does not mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. Oh, the Ocelot fight, if you guys missed it, I just stun-locked him. It was hilarious. You just... You just shoot him and he just doesn't do anything. So you used the, 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 I, I wasn't able to read the future. 
The strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I will read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through the hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The Overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Capcom Stealth leaked RE0 Remake? And use the tower's walkway. Let's see about that. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the pasts, presents, and futures. I, I doubt it, but... upon thousands of men and women. Wait, where'd you see this at? My Google search got me nowhere. Oh, gross. <clears throat> and each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough. Oh, because of the Rebecca in that sick. picture. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that is why there is war. But you are different. You are the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. Ah. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth, and he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. True. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just want an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. Snake, seeing you calms my soul. You're like the boss. No, worse. Compared to you, I'm like a saint. I read her mind as well. Merrill's. I saw you there. You have a large place in her heart. A large place. And uh, the delivery's there. the delivery's a lot different. But I do not know if your futures lie together. And the original is like a large place. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. I'll try to get the Meryl ending Before this time. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. Open the door for you if you want to find 
your future go through that door? <laughs> Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Large place. Meryl. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're going to doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Don't regret your past. Learn from it. Regrets just make a person weaker. You're right. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? More complaints? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering... What? What's the problem now? <laughs> oh, no. Nothing. So tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Age means nothing on the battlefield. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? Otacon. I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone, just like Mantis said. Other people like just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go. No! Kojima's picture's gone! There's 15 years difference between these two. And it's affecting my life more than things that happen in my life. Hashtag the internet. Could there be wolves in here? Wolf dogs. Half wolf. He's half husky. Musher. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. All right. I can't believe people were saying this was like RE3 Remake yesterday. Oh my god, this is- this is so much better. You can actually see. I mean, no, it's- it's exactly, exactly like RE1 Remake. It's just not better than the original. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs.
When people, when you say a remix like RE3 remake, my thought is that the quality is massively improved, this place is mine. and then it's half I'll the game. I'll take coin again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working, and since we can't use the mine detector either, you better not change this scene. Leave it to me. Did they change this scene? We're about to figure out. So what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? Please, I hope they didn't weird, change it. When Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, maybe a little. A little bit. Only a little. <sighs> well, they changed it. Excuse me? In the original, you could just hold in up, and it works every time. Sorry, I was sleeping, guys. There's Savage in this one. Guys. Oh wow, Sniper Wolf. Made a kissy face. Don't forget what I said. No, get out of here. Meryl, Colonel, damn, Snake, it's a trap. 
A sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go to help Meryl so he can pick you off. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. It must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this is the tune. I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. Doesn't matter to her. Months? She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. The music. I'm going to save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. See, I don't know what the remake's like, but... What's wrong, Naomi? Don't you know? There's a tendency toward murder written in your very genes. This is the kind of scene so that they should have changed. Skin is out of the question. Going all the way back to get that far, sniper sucks. I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Bro, they should have like introduced, an like, a new side I'm area. I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm going to save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I wonder if they fixed any of the backtracking in this. I'm sorry. Maybe they did. Is there dialogue? If I shoot her? Someone said shoot her? Snake, what the hell? Are you trying to kill Meryl? Have you gone insane? Maybe. She'll die if you leave her like... Yeah, I'll save her. Part not useless. Wait a sec. It's not here. Doggies, please. God. I hope it's just in here.
soon. Yeah, catastrophe. Ah, see, this this is much better. I even called it. See, that improves the game a lot. And like going back and forth in the last section of the game, I hope you don't do that either. It's fine to disagree and share my opinion. I think unnecessary backtracking to pad out a game's length is... I mean, when you backtrack in a game like this, there's always a better thing you can do. I don't think... I don't think going to get... Going all the way back there to get the PSG one was like a... Like, this will make the game better. Doesn't make sense having a sniper in office instead. Well, in the original, I mean, there's the original makes that mistake all the time. That's where you get the freaking rocket launcher in the original. No. So. She's gone. Oh, you don't have to lay down. Uh... Dude, she's, she's crazy. Can I finally play? I think I can. How do you shoot though? Oh my, it's so sensitive. Holy shit. God, equip it! Jesus Christ! Yikes, dude. Oh, it's so brutal. It's so, so, so sensitive. What is this music? We got her dead to rights. I got her. I got her. Got her.
Get the PSG one first. What am I using? Nice. Yeah, I noticed her health wasn't going down. I was like, huh. Oh, I see. Is there any point to tranking bosses in this game? Does it give you anything? Whoa. Oh! Cyber Wolf here. looks cool. I think. Slowly. Oh my god. You're a fool to come back here. Stupid man. A lady sniper, huh? Don't you know that the majority of the world's great assassins are oh, I like the design. Women? Do you want to die now, or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> a, Is that right? A lot of cutscenes are like something well, you'd see in a Lego game. Spirit. Where they add this like unnecessary comedy. Not saying it's bad or whatever, but it's just, that's what it reminds me of. I am Sniper Wolf. And I always kill what I aim at. You are my special prey. Got it? I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you. Thank you, Nash. You're all I'll think about. Thank you, Black Wolf and Pete. Thank you. Uh oh. Yes, that's that's away. a great example right there. Don't kill him yet. I want him alive. Leave it to me. I want no more accidents like that, Darpa chief. All right. Yes. I'm not taking the He's stance. I'm gonna my spam my the button. Love. In the normie position and see if it's fast enough. When I mash as fast as possible, it really hurts my chest. Or when I. Can you hear me, Solid Snake? He's tougher than I thought. Do you know who I am? I always knew that one day I would meet you. The man who stole the light from my life because of you! Bruh. Me? Why, I'm the man from whom you oh, stole everything. I got to experience that, Cyrax. And now, after the sacrifice of our brothers, after 30 long years, finally, the two of us meet the brother of light and the brother of dark. Do you need his genetic information, too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldier's mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. 
They won't give in. They're all hypocrites. Every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. Hey, Murasaki. There definitely is a resemblance. Don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, oh my brother? god, I'm I do not sure. want this game remade. Anyway, this is enough. Doesn't matter. Remake the first one for you NES. And I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. Really? Then what? <clears throat> Those idiots. All right, Raven. I'll be right there. <sighs> They're not responding to our demands. We'll launch the first one in ten hours. Like this as remake planned. is mostly super, super Damn faithful Americans. for the most part. Looks and but like it's you just like them wrong. It's just not as good. Something's funny. Normally, the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're gonna launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Want to stay for the show? I'm not interested. Tic Tacs? It's time to feed the family. So, you prefer your wolves to my show, hmm? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the Chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short among as us. possible. Yeah. Torture? This is an interrogation. <laughs> As you wish. See you later, brother. Bruh. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. Wow, both of them are canceled. <laughs> Sexual assault Down. and hmm. him sitting back and encouraging it. If you like either of those characters, you're horrible. Go. 
Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. That's called sarcasm. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. Here we go. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. That? That's an invitation for Ocelot. Right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. This end up. They really care about his things. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have a lot of faith in your skill, hmm, carrier boy? Huh? So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? If not, that's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Thanks to Wolf's whim. But it's up to you if you wanted to stay that way. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. A trick. No problem then. Oh. We're going to play a game, Solid Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. Like Jamie Lannister. Um, I don't know if I'm ready to mash, guys. What's the button? Shit, I don't know what the button is. Press the resist button repeatedly to yes. regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to surrender. submit. Eh? When your life reaches zero, the game is over. I'll try. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. Oh, oh shit! Snake, it's been a long time since you saved your game. Yeah? So what? If your body can't survive the torture, it'll be game over. You really want to travel down that long road again? Come on, I won't tell. Why don't you just give up? I'm going to run a high voltage electric current through when your When is body. the last time I saved? If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. Can you Did let you me know save that it? it was the French who first thought of using electrical shocks as a means of torture? Hey, French films are all right, but I don't care about that crap. Mm, you're a tough guy. Poor Mantis, snake. dude. If we died, but I would I've just. Some bad news we'd be for playing you. something else. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared? Good. You should be. It better be A. Okay. Let's get started. How did you like that? Shall we go again? Oh, yeah. Had enough yet? Oh, we're not finished yet.
Hey, was that it? Oh my god, it's over? You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. For You're now. the boss's brother, all right. Your brother. He's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a chopper? The Les Enfants Terribles project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. Saved her. We're already here. All right, I am going to use the bathroom. Yeah, this is basically first playthrough. I don't even know. I honestly don't even know if I've ever played through this. It's hard to remember anything when everything's the exact same besides some of the cutscenes. <sighs> what a stench. Yeah, like parts of all the cut, like the cutscenes are all the same, and there's like Sleep. tense. Or, or, well, okay? the action ones are like I've completely different. How's Meryl? But the story ones are like her. pretty, damn, Come pretty on. much the same. Okay, I know. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. I don't know. Truth We're trying to say, buy some maybe. more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? I think we got it? enough time. You knew Bathroom. it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear. Secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the president had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis. Is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the president and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the Start 3 Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified Start 2, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation, and America's place as the dominant superpower. So, you turn to Black Ops. Convenient. Please, Snake. Just stop them. To serve your interests? Because we're relying on you. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about. The President has adopted a firm public stance vis-a-vis -vis bioethics. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? <laughs> the hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Poor man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? 
It seems there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. Okay. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also, what? Okay, Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. Oh, Deb, I caught a cold. That witch, she took my clothes. Hey, shut up in there, will ya? Hey, hey. Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? Snake, are you okay? He's unfazed by it so now. I scared for you. It must be horrible. <sighs> I've been through a lot worse. Believe me. Wow. You really are a hero. It's a good thing the codec is connected directly to your inner ear. You can contact us anytime. It's always nice to hear that you're alright. Why don't you contact the Colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. Please, Snake, don't give up! Shut up in there, will ya? Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Oh my god, is there a cap on how fast you can press this in this version? Hey! 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 Ah, uh, there is. What are you playing around with? Buddy! Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Wait, what? I'm not taking my jacket okay. off this time. I'll tell you once more. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. Oh, I got this. There are no continues, my friend. I've fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Did you get Chad? Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian Gru. I'm not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniformed fools. Well, shall we begin? Fuck, man. How did you like that? Shall we go again? Had enough yet? Can I just normie oh, mash it? Finished yet? Ah! 
You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. We live in a sad age. Imperialism. Totalitarianism. Perestroika. The hell is Perestroika? 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. Oh. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down Who's he referencing? Well. So, you're in this for the money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn, to lead a brave new world oh, order. Oh, Oh, Really? The guy who dies at the first, at the tanker. Oh, so, Ogrlukovich, I guess. I see. Wait. Wait, what? No? Uh... Wait, what's Otacon's number? Someone in chat knows. Otacon, are you still okay? Yeah, thanks to the stealth camouflage that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask. What should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? Uh, there's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. Yes. Shut up in there, will ya? You okay, Snake? Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, my arm hurts. <sighs> Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Thanks. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I go. <laughs> How does that feel, Snake? A little better? How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> that felt Myself. good. Myself. That's a tough one. Any Thank family? you, Samchai, again not a for the resub. I don't have any family. No, wait. There was a man who said he was my father. And brother. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? There was no way you could know. It happened in Zanzibar land six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. Yeah. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? It's what we wanted. He's dead. Me. And him. That's patricide. Yeah. That's the trauma of my life. Just like Mantis said. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake. Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> Is there a woman in your You're guy's still life? Calling me friend. 
Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. <gasps> Frank Yeager. Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Foxhound ever to receive Felt the, the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But... Didn't you try to kill each other? It's true. We did. In Zanzibar land. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals Am I crazy or did they used to call it just all. Zanzibar? And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, always land? But he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool Guess I was not paying enough attention. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. It makes no sense. Just violence, murdering each other. Yeah. I think so, too. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. They make you predisposed toward violence. You really like talking about genes. Naomi, why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were. Or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? I thought if I could thoroughly understand DNA, I could get back my identity. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I'm... I'm sorry. I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Shut up in there, will ya? Hey! Oh! oh my stomach! Damn it! Mm -mm. Wow, they even captured you. Hurry, get me out of here. Uh, let me go, that hurts. Ah. Hurry up. Jesus. Snake, hey. is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. Does Jeez. that actually happen? It's like an Gray Fox cage. rescues you if you stay in? What a smell. Yeah, because of him. Hi! It's the DARPA chief. But do we have to do the resist thing if you again? Don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. Oh, after like five. Oh, this lock God, won't screw open that. With a security oh. guard. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I I thought you might be hungry. It's so small. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. 
What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Merrill. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you'll have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out oh of here. Oh my god. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. <clears throat> He's coming back. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. Glasses. That's better. Oh yeah, fuzzy. What the hell? Music. And that sound. We can't kill him. Will he ever wake up? Alright. 
any new items? The ration. Wait, how many do I have? Oh. This music. Because guys, I need a very specific reason to play any game. Is there actually a PC version? People keep asking me if we're playing on PC. It's not toxic, Griffin. It's just like it's just a silly question, so people are poking fun at you. It's even sillier because I've been talking about doing a Metal Gear Solid marathon in December, like every single week for months. <laughs> so. No! What? I didn't say I was going to do it in December, I just said I was going to do it sometime this year. Thank you, Untouchable Gamer. Oh shit, one sec. The channel. Can't wait for 2023 and your RE4 remake stream. Oh yeah, let's go bought stare. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Happy New Year. Oh, nice space. Glad you enjoy. Thank you, Eric. Buddy? The music! No, I don't think I'm going to drink today. What? Oh yeah, that music.
Evasion. Do I? An attached suppressor. Do I have one? I've never played Metal Gear Survive. played that. Hi, doggos. Can you pet the dog now? Maybe you have to hold the button. They're gone. Hey, what? I can't heal. It. Look at the smile. I, I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. Uh, war is meaningless. Nothing comes out of war. Uh, snake, please. Save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Snake, about Merrill. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I... I wasn't able to protect her. Snake. She's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master? What is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I couldn't just listen anymore. Master, 
Master. Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. Nothing good will come from that. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. Thank you, Chain. I'm sure and thank you, Dr. Prof. Fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want, too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. What? She's pretty special to you, huh? Well, yeah. Thank you, Lonnie. Special. There aren't many tomboys like her. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? I'm boys. <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes. He was Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Um, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? New York, I think. Naomi? I thought that you didn't have any family. I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. Mm. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake. Good luck. Watch your back, Snake. Sausage, yeah, sausage, sausage. What can I do for you, Snake? Good luck, Snake. God damn it. What is it, Snake? The Chinese say it is the strong swimmer who most often drowns. It's because the strong swimmer overestimates his abilities and underestimates the strength of the river. You're probably quite used to the mission now, but don't get careless. All deep throat. Pick up, deep throat. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Salad Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned. That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst. So We're I calling have extensive her. Look. knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation Nastasha. as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon. The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen. And neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. So the terrorist intentionally... I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Uh oh. Um, okay. See if we can. Think it's easy on a. Wait. Heck, I don't exactly know how to do it. that it 
Moon. Snake. Thank you, Alucard, for the 11 months. Thank you. Did they not think of something better? I should be able to use that rope I got. 
What are you yeah. going to do? Take on a hide with your bare hands? Stay here. I'm finished. Thank you, Jusifer. Put that rope. No, 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 I don't want to. fall asleep, right? Sure takes a while. Call master. Yo, thank you, person suit. How was your stream? It's going pretty good. This game's a little much, but what were we up to? Oh, nice. I heard that's pretty good. No, Freeman. In the original, you also run away there, too. You, you fight it later. Make sure to follow person who has an awesome streamer. Thank you Don't against shoot. the raid. It's me! Don't shoot! It's, it's Shaggy! Snake. Otacon, how'd you get here? Well, it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I oh, was riding in the back him. of their truck, thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The 
first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No, you're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry, forget I said anything. Snake. Thank you, Daph. There's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever loved someone? That's what you came to ask. No, I mean, I, I was hey, wondering Mark. if even soldiers fall in love. I gotta get your your what presence, are you sir. To say, do you think love can bloom even on a battlefield? Yeah. I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But if you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, I told you before, I won't hurt anyone. I don't want you to. Oh. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. I'm not sure, Moto. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here. And then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. What's the longest cutscene in Metal Gear 4? Or how long is it, sorry. Ninety minutes? Forty minutes? The final one is ninety minutes. An hour forty. Seventy-two. Seventy-one. Seventy-one. Oh, I see double seventy-ones. It's seventy-one. Okay. Oops. Not too bad, though.
Thank you again, Wendy, for the 31 months. Thank you. to the speed. Last fight's really got a uh, something else in this one. Something else. Listen to the music. Damn. So good. That's 
how it's done. Come on, fly! There it is. That takes care of the cremation. Oh! Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird Fuck thing. Fuck yeah. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Mm -hmm. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Mm -hmm. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored. Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. I'm playing it on emulator. Yeah. What are my feelings on the game so far? I mean, it's Metal Gear Solid, but the quality took a nosedive. Where are these fellers? I think uh, for, the, for the most part, it's just, it's just boring. Like if you've played the original, there's nothing like, it's the exact same, except the voice actors redoing their lines are so less passionate about their work because they've already done it before. Yeah, there's some, there's some cool and funny cutscenes, but like other than that, it's, it's just the exact same. Unlike when they remade Resident Evil 1, they're, they, like, this, people were, yesterday were going on about, oh, wait till you play it, Buck, it's like the RE3 remake of, no, it's not, not at all, not even a fucking percent. This is exactly like Resident Evil 1 remake, except when they remade Resident Evil 1, they were remaking a game with bad graphics, bad gameplay, bad voice acting, bad writing, and whatever else, you know, the, the uh, stuff that's easily improved. When they're remaking Metal Gear Solid, so like, all they have to do is improve the graphics and you've already got a better game in your hands. But they went beyond, obviously, like, remake is the best remake ever, you know. Uh, and Metal Gear Solid, it's like, everything held up decently well. And then they remade it, but they... What you're supposed to do with the remake is you're supposed to improve the bad parts of the original game. You remake a game because you see the original project product, and you say to yourself, we can make this better. We can improve these sections. Like the atmosphere in RE1 was heavily improved with the lighting, just one example. And the the voice acting was like atrocious in the original. But I don't see, like, there wasn't much to improve for Metal Gear Solid 1 besides the graphics. But the problem is, is that they made things worse. Like the voice acting is worse. The soundtrack is worse. The boss fights are worse. Just the game in general is just like not as good. That doesn't mean it's a bad game. Like if you if you only played this, and you didn't play the original. That's fine. But 
I mean, there are things that are just lower quality in this. And with RE3 Remake, because people are going to mention it, the quality of RE3 Remake as a remake is very, very high. Like, the voice acting's great, the graphics are great, the sound effects are awesome, the soundtrack is fine. But where that game went wrong is it, it's, it's glorified DLC. This game is not glorified DLC. It's the exact same game with better graphics and just everyone redoing their job just did a worse job. Like, go look at the Ocelot boss fight. Oh my god. No one is trying to sell me that, but there are people in chat. Like, earlier there were people just telling me to shut up because I'm just like... I can't handle this game getting criticized. This game is very, very, very far from perfect. And it's not to say Metal Gear Solid 1 is perfect. There's a reason it got a remake, and there's a reason people want it to get remade again. But they, like... Like, come on. The codec calls are the exact... Look, it's the exact same! And every codec call is the exact same. Except the voice act... The returning voice actors... Are not doing as good a job. Like, Naomi sounds like she has a fucking gun to her head while she's reading her lines. And that's a big deal, by the way. Like, codec calls are a massive part of this game. Like, a lot of the game is sitting there listening to codec calls. And when they're, they're the exact same and less passionate, it just breaks the immersion. It's just, especially when... I just played the original, like, two days ago. So... It was, like, three days ago or four. Um, so it hits extra hard for me. Uh, it's just... And when the codec calls are worse, like, the codec calls are... You know, for most people, they're the most boring, like, not boring doesn't mean bad, but they're the most boring part of the game because you're just sitting there listening to two people talk about a subject. There's no, there's no cutscene or nothing going on. It's just a screen of two mouths moving with dialogue for upwards of, like, ten minutes. And when that, when you're remaking a game where that's a huge part and it's worse, that sucks, dude. Alright. But, I mean, the game's... it's... it's alright. Like, there's no surprises either. Like, in, in RE1 Remake, at least there were a few surprises and, and like, they added really cool... Like, the whole Lisa storyline? That's fucking incredible! It's one of the best parts! And that's new! Like, some of the new environments in RE1 Remake as well are really cool. The changes to the mansion are really cool, but there's no, they, like, there's no creative liberties taken here besides the increased action in the cutscenes. And, like, Gray Fox, for example. The, the voice acting for Gray Fox is just like, whoa. Yikes. Mr. Jimbus Christ Jr. Here. Happy New Year. Oh, the improved visuals are nice, yeah. And, like, it's not all, like, garbage or anything. I, th I think the... Like, you know, it's fine. Oh, they definitely leaned into the Snake, cheesiness. It's like a Lego game. I forgot to tell you before. Like something what? silly happens there all the time. There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get one for you, so I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out, uh -oh. it's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you. Oh, I... 
Too late, Snake. Now die. Oh, you can't throw them off the side in this one. This game would have been better as a remaster, like a lazy remaster, like improve the graphics and just don't even leave all the sounds the same, low quality and everything. It's the enemy! Like the, the bad voice act, in my opinion, the bad voice acting goes through it the whole game. It's like even that, like too late snake! The, the, like the first one is so much more memorable, you can hardly hear him over the fucking elevator. And I know it's talking over, but um. Too late, Snake, now die! Like, that's sick. I love that part in the original. And then this one's just like... It's just everything's like Walmart version. I mean, yeah, Mysterious. Some people defend every single solitary thing in Metal Gear to the death. Like, I doubt... Well, and I mean, okay, let's let's just say Kojima had everything to do with this version. Like, what's there... As the director of the game, what's there to say? Like, what's changed? If, like, the cutscenes? And then everything else is the exact same. Like, the dialogue... A lot of the dialogue is word for word. There is a couple cool moments though. <laughs> and I, by the way, I'm aware of my bias. I grew up with the original. Snake, are you okay? So like me saying, oh, the, the original voice actor for this part's better. That could just be Miss Rose Tinted no. Glasses, but I mean, I also five. listen to a lot of so, voices. This isn't stealth camouflage, then. What are you talking about? Someone's shooting at me in the middle of this blizzard. <gasps> it's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. That woman isn't as sweet as you think. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf! No, you can't! Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this! Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal her location. You think so? Well, a message from me 
is a message from Beth. Wait a sec. If I'm close, you will know Death is close. Please, Wolf, Snake, no, quiet. Don't get in our way. Now I'll pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Coming in. Ah! Yeah, when I said, oh, earlier during that codec call, I was just thinking like, is this possible? I tried in the original, but it kept hitting the freaking thing. Hey. I think it is possible in the original too, but I just had the wrong angle and I gave up instantly. Ah, uh, you actually have to hit her, okay. Getting her. I don't know. We're about to find out, though. You should have seen the Ocelot boss fight. You can just stun lock him. I can't wait to see Raven. I may have came out from the tree there. Ah! You can run. Gotta, she's got a line on me. She knows. It's hard to see because of the fucking camera. We're good. Oh, she knew. That's it. This is so much worse. What a fight. Oh my God. I'm watching, I'm watching this on my cell phone. I need to quickly use the bathroom and get a quick snack.
Okay, someone said I'm gonna miss the best cutscene. This better be good. Every year. Waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <coughs> I am long shot. You cannot save me. Please, just finish me quick. I am a Kurd. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A Kurd? So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield. Raised on a battlefield. Gunfire, sirens and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs day after day. Driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then... He appeared, my hero, Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper, hidden, watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war not from the inside, but from the outside. As an observer, I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. But I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now, I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglanek and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true, we're all for sale for some price or another, but you're different, untamed, solitary. You're no dog, you're a wolf. Who are you? 
Are you solid then? Wolf, you spared Meryl's life. Even when I'm just an onlooker, I don't like to see women or children get hurt. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please, set me free. Any other game? <clears throat> Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. Birdmont. She is part of me. Ah! A lot of con. Everyone is here now. Okay, hero. Set me free. Goodbye. <gasps> oh. Snake, you said that love could bloom on a battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Uh, Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. Don't lose the codec. Thank I'll you, be gamer. behind you all the way. <clears throat> you can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. I cried? I was eating spicy chicken, actually. <clears throat> Snake! Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? Zero, wannabe. What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Oh. 
Okay. I'll be searching too. Guys. Ugh. You want to see what we're talking about every time we watch that scene? That is a cutscene in Mega Man X4, by the way. A game I used to speedrun. Mm -mm. What the? What am I fighting for? Sniper Wolf? Oh, is that dog tag? Oh, it got me again. I did run zero, yeah. I'm just gonna run out. What am I fighting for? Oh, it's it sucks in Japanese, guys. The vo The bad voice acting is half the fun. See, now you you might, some of you might instantly start thinking like, wait, you're criticizing this game for the voice acting. Yeah, that's because it's, it's just, it's not bad, like funny, like, oh, it makes the game so much better. It's just sad. Like you hear it and you're like, yikes. No gel sandwich here. Oops. Seize me. Uh-oh. Whatever. Throwing one. Yeah. Damn. Give me my paycheck. I wish I got the silencer. Who's there? Wait. I think for the most part, the voice acting is fine, like some of it, <clears throat> but it's so weird that like, it's 
like everyone's just redoing their lines years later. And it's not like it's hard to tell, you know what I mean? I just think of it as I like put myself in that position and think like Oh god, let's just get out of here. It's just such a weird case, honestly. Like, I don't- I can't think of another game that did something like this. I- I can't think of one. I'd say there's not one. But, like... Come back years later and say 95% of the same script. Like, you're- you're- Literally, you're trying to copy your younger self. And it just... Comes off that way. That's all. Especially if you just played the original, like I just played the original like three or four days ago. And yeah, a lot of talking in Demon Souls. Oh! Did they actually do that though? There's like 10 words in Demon Souls. Oh! Oh. oh no, I don't mean that solid, but so they got their original VS to do their work, but is it the exact same like it is in this? Just curious. I'm not saying you're wrong or anything, just curious. Time for Raven. It's time for Raven. Thank you, Oatmeal, for the 22. It's just this is such a weird game, honestly. Anymore? Yeah, the first person uh, addition's nice, yeah. Oh, God. Snake, I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What oh, about shit. her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. Yeah, exactly like that, these pants. Moments like that are a perfect example. Yeah, what about it? <sighs> it was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? 
She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on. Even a high school student could see past it. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. At the time when Edgar Hoover was head of the FBI, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 50s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But... You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying. That ninja... Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Bird poop poop. No, we can't shoot the birdies. Shaman music? Also a shaman in WoW. Can you still do the stun lock? Do liquid? Nice red cord. Yeah, watch out if you don't want Metal Gear spoilers in the stream, because since we're in a marathon, everyone just talks about everything, so. Hmm. And I've already played all the games. That? Well, at this, except this one. But. I wasn't missing much. Every single cutscene is just so extra in this. They're just like, we gotta go further. Welcome, Cossack. Call me Ballsack? This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? They're becoming excited. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes, they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Whoa. Am I hallucinating? I, I can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. That's OP. Ah, 
your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. There's no crows in my family tree. You ready? I am not fond of snakes, but you are family, so I cannot complain. But there will be no holding back. <laughs> you live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics. Mm-hmm. With that strength, you must have been training in the stick pull and four-man carry. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. Uh-oh. It is called the ear pull. It's an event where two opponents I, pull each other's ears I hope ears we do it in this during version. the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. The Rejoice, form. Snake. Ours will be a glorious battle. The ear pull. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we will see if there is iron in your words. <sighs> Oh, he's he's a bit different. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that quick switch. God. In this corner. Yeah, the bird's the ref. Oops. Shoot! Boss fights are great in this one. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you. Understand? <laughs> Snake!
Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Thank you. Why? You are a snake, which was not created by nature. You and the boss, you are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man you saw die before your eyes. That was not the DARPA chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? Slayer Song. But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. an end to it but you are different what are you trying to say the path <laughs> you walk on has no end no matter how far you go or how many corpses you crawl over the killing will never end it's a future without hope hear me snake my spirit will be watching you. Snake, it's me. Master? It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Mm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. A spy? 
Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So, you think she had a part in the uprising? No, no, no. Or she could be working with some different group altogether. A different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest, Colonel. What? She's Do it, us, Colonel. Colonel. She needs to be arrested and interrogated yeah, happy to New find Year. out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Colonel, have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Uh -oh. Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot He's allow a good liar. her to participate any further in this mission. Wait. Wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. No, I don't We've think got I'm to drinking figure out tonight. who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Oh. Oh yeah. We got the dog tags. We have the gun. Yet. Oh yeah. All right, what are we gonna get instead of the zong music? Who's that? Oh, there's people here. There's people here in this one. Zong? Metal Gear! Holy shit! Yeah, people have been talking up Metal Gear Acid. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting oh, metal gear ready. Game? I had no How clue. do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear. But it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards. No mechanics. It's usually chronological it's order quiet. if I do like a marathon. Maybe because they're of... all ready. But not this time. They I don't. I actually. I guess I'm like. Codes. What should I do? All we can do is Depends use on the my override move, I guess. system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course. But there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Yep. Oops. 
Send oh, he... backup. I have an unknown. <coughs> they were fast. I don't like these kickers. Oh, this level is actually different. Oh my god, please. Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Oh, uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I've never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Did we need that call instantly? Snake, I did it. You got past security? Bingo. Great, so what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? Haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean, it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one up until now? Because of the missile's rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Because of that? But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. We learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. It would push back the signing of the START III Treaty. If word gets out about this weapon, it'd cause a whole world of trouble. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested. Only simulated. You mean with VR experiments? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So, you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Yeah. I don't know my way around this place. Oh wait, this is the way. Man, the music here is... Yikes. Oh! There we go. I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernatin, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. 
Why, boss? Liquid. I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site. If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the president's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. <laughs> yes. When the other countries hear about the new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. One billion dollars? All for money? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the fox dye vaccine in our demands. Fox dye? It killed Octopus and the arms tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf uh -huh. wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. You that, guys? Something to do with amphetamine and adrenaline levels in the blood. They deployed a product still in development into live combat. Rajima, no don't you know masks don't do anything? They must have been desperate. In any case, have you heard from your friend Colonel Sergei Golukovich at Spetsnaz yet? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm. Yeah. He is a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and the new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't nuclear. be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. <laughs> their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? <laughs> that Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's, he's a politician. Maybe so, but he's the one who gave us the hind. And most of our other heavy firepower. Ocelot's voice acting is like consistent, I feel, for this command. game. If we joined forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. It's going to be a long war. We could still escape. We have the new nuclear power, and we're going to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? Fighting the whole world? From here, we can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. Oh, yeah. And totally immune to interception. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. But, boss, what about your promise to Colonel Gulukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. 
You're not thinking of reviving His nose, Big Boss's yeah. dream. From today, you can call this place Outer Heaven. Ah, Big Boss's dream. Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden? If the code is entered again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Meryl. Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl, she's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So, how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see, the override system that the President was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? You need the keys for input. Three of them. But I only have the one. Where are the others? Thank Hold you, on. Simon. I appreciate you see, it. That's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. What are they looking at? Why do people hate Twin Snakes? There should be a symbol on each screen. Uh, the voice acting, the music, each symbol corresponds the boss to a fights. Key. You input the keys in order from left to right. The left ones for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. You know, I was okay, in that. I got it. I was First, I in that boat of, of like. Card, and then listen, I guys, I went into this with right. a fucking massive right. open mind. I was like, there's no way it's as bad as people say there is. There's no way. It's just better After graphics. That's it. But, or that's what I was thinking it was. Which is. Yeah, that's sort of it. But, um. It just feels lifeless. Like, it's just like. It's Metal Gear Solid 1 with better graphics and worse almost everything else. It's an emergency system, and it's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key snake. Oh. Who's that? Damn. The key. Yeah, getting most of the cast back was probably a terrible idea, honestly. This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. Snake, you've got to get that key. Get down there, Snake. Call Master Miller. You lost the card key? Hurry up and find it. They've already entered the detonation code. 
The only way to stop that launch is to lock the system by re-inputting the detonation codes. Okay. If you use the mine detector, you should be able to find... Buddy, I don't have that. I would honestly like to hear someone's opinion about this game. Like, I want to see a streamer play Metal Gear Solid 1 original and then this back to back with no bias or nostalgia or anything and see what they think. Oops. By, by the way, I'm not biased towards this game. Like I said, I went in. I was thinking I was gonna like it. What was that sound? But I did play the original as a kid, so. Do I even have the mine detector? I don't think I do. Oh my god. We got it. Yeah, the music sucks. Like I said, the, the, a big reason why I think this, this game is just shittier is the music. It's so bad. It's the enemy! Yeah. 
I think changing the music is fine for the most part, but you have to honor like the the general feel of the original soundtrack for the most part. Especially if it's known for its music. Oh yeah, we have to go put it in first. Oops. Wait. Thank you, Jorge. And thank you, Chi. You don't need to go? Okay. No insane backtracking? That's cool. That's nice that they fixed both of the big backtracking issues the original had. I actually really like that. Is there somebody there? Because this part sort of stinks in the original. So you have to listen to all the codec calls in a row or something? Yo, Twitchy. One down. Pal code number one confirmed. Awaiting pal code number two. Okay, that takes care of pal code number one. Now, pal number two, freeze the key. Freeze the key, okay. Hey, Twitchy. Yeah, I've been streaming really early. You have to hit the pipes? Oh wait, are they on my map there? Oh wait, no, that's just the dead guys. Pipes, you over here? Another pipe? So glad the people are dead here. Be there or down. Oh, 
Oh, that must be it. Blue for cold. Oh, maybe not. Oh, you have to hang? Oops. This is cool. <clears throat> Shit, it's circle to let go, but I wonder what it is to grab. <clears throat> Not circle to grab. Wait, from the highest floor? Wait, why? Is this not the pipe? I see, I see. There it is. Cool. God, the camera. That was easy. Yeah, that's awesome. See that, like I said earlier with getting these, okay. I, I know a lot of people just sit in chat and they hear criticism like, oh, you, I, I had some nice things to say with this game too. Like before we fought Sniper Wolf, I was like, man, I really hope that they made it easier to get the sniper because that part of the original game fucking sucks. And they did. And we got to this part, and same thing. I was like, this part sucks. And you guys are like, well, they fixed it. That's sick. There are good things about this game. Like, there are objectively better things. And why I say objectively better is that it doesn't take away from the original that you have to go back to the cold room and the hot room. But if you do a lot of exploration, you can see a quality of life improvement sitting in the corner. Because in my opinion, in a really good game, and this comes from RE3 being one of my favorite games ever, you shouldn't have to massively backtrack multiple times. And with this game, I think it's like ultra dumb because you have to backtrack a lot to do two small things. Where the ideas are cool where you go into a cold and a hot room, I really like the idea. But riding that elevator six times in a playthrough is like, come on. But, okay, I can't throw RE3 under the bus. The thing I like about RE3 and the backtracking is RE3 has so much backtracking because you get to pick your own route. You can do... You have to visit the pharmacy, the fuse station, um, and the gas station to leave the city, but you can do them in any order you want. So the backtracking isn't too, too bad. It's sort of part of the game and encourages exploration through Raccoon City. Where this one's just like... Just feels like padding. And, a, and somewhere to put the codec call. That's fine. That doesn't doesn't make it like a horrible or anything. It's just I don't think it's a fun part of the game. Pal code number two confirmed. 
Awaiting PAL code number three. Okay, there goes PAL code number two. Next comes PAL number three. Warm the key. Yeah, RE1, well, the door loads really hurt the backtracking in RE1, but I think RE1 has good backtracking in a sense that the entire, in Resident Evil 1 Remake, the entire game is a puzzle. Like, the entire mansion is a puzzle. It's a puzzle to find the the keys for each room, and when you get in most of the rooms, there's a puzzle within the room. Or there's like a question, you, you know, whether, whether or not it's like the room with an actual puzzle, like the statue pushing. Or you go into the room with the tiger statue, where you note to yourself, I'm gonna need to come here later. The entirety of that game is one massive puzzle box. So you have to revisit the areas just as part of the game, but I don't think it hurts it. The only reason it takes so long to get back to some areas in RE1, which sucks, is just the load times. Uh, oh yeah, oops, what am I doing? I'm so used to running Metal Gear Solid 1. <laughs> I just instantly start going down. This game just reinforces my thoughts of RE1 Remake. Like I always say, when people see massive changes coming into a remake like RE2 or RE4 is an even better example. Everyone, you always see people get scared like, oh man, they're changing too much. But when you keep it all the same, as someone that just played Metal Gear Solid 1, my, my all biggest, my like biggest gripe for this game is just that it's boring. After you've played the original, it's just the same game. But, but worse. Like you don't feel like you're playing a fresh experience. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us, go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Oh no. Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? Oh no. Fox Dye? Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're um, telling me that I'm Naomi so pumped for Dead Space it? Remake. Snake, Can't wait to, to see what they do with that. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the colonel know? But like for, for sure, stuff like this, but he still hasn't I'm sorry for her. talking through the game, okay. but okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, like it's the exact same. I just placed Naomi under arrest. But the voice actors arrest. are. She was sending coded messages not working the as hard. Base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, or not, I'd like I shouldn't to say not working as hard. Stuff, they just took a different approach for some things. Except Naomi's there. actually like lazy as hell. So, Naomi's voice is just true, bad. Isn't it? Naomi. I you can tell she it. didn't want to do this. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Is that all you think about? But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Yeah. Banner machine. Dude, you know what? I Yeah, Solid. I hated Demon Souls, the original, the PS3 one. I tried to play it a couple times, and I really disliked it. I thought it sucked. And I fucking loved the remake. But you know what it made me realize? The thing that made a simple change made Demon Souls awesome to me. And that was... In a game where you, like, every player dies a million times, 
Having like a five minute load time or like having a two minute or to three minute load time that takes you to this the like main town and then having another load time to teleport to where you actually are is it feels terrible. It feels horrible. And then the load times being Snake, instant were just like it's Naomi. It was infinitely better Naomi. experience. Oh my god. What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. I loved Demon Naomi Souls remake. Is what the colonel says true? Yes. I would never play the PS3 version ever again. Who are you? I think it's just I don't inferior. Know my parents' face is my name. The name but That's that what this game should have been. Bought. Sadly. But the reason why I study genetics that was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965. And there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from. But I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier when he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox. We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He is everything to me. The only proof I have of my existence. Of my existence as an individual. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. But then he and my brother went back to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you, and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes, that's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. <sighs> like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments. Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterward, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox. He's come here to kill me. I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. Yeah, that hasn't happened. Final it it happens you. soon, Blue Titan. That's all he lives for. But yeah, she's talking about stuff that happened in, like, the NES Metal Fox. Gear game. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Die? Fox dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through. I mean, I love this voice actress. She's awesome. It's just like go play the original game. She's super monotone in this. Targets DNA. Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages. They begin creating TNF epsilon. She just sounds like a TTS. It's a type of like you typed in the words and cells to die. some AI that TNF sounds epsilon like her is said it. Along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then they cause a heart attack. The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme epitosis. 
Then the victim dies. Apoptosis. You mean the heart cells commit suicide. Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that... No. That's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing that I wanted to tell you was, Snake... Hey! What are you doing? <sighs> Snake... Naomi? Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Okay. Start A. Sneak, Naomi's under arrest. What the hell is happening over there? What's the Colonel thinking? Colonel Campbell is... I'm sorry, I can't say anymore. But please believe me, I'm here to help you until the end. <laughs> what a defected right here, yeah. Same. Please, Snake, don't give up. Naomi, or sorry, uh, Mei Ling sounds like a generic female anime English dub. I don't mind it though. I think it's fine. Like I don't have, I guess I don't have any like major, major problems with the game. It's just. Besides the soundtrack, I sorry. Besides the soundtrack. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Jacob, I Master, don't know. what's going on? Master. You found the key and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Who is this guy? Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when I decided you might prove useful, Snake. Uh -oh. What? Well, for starters, I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. We thought we'd get the info from you, but there was Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning? Just to get me to input the detonation code? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? <laughs> In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Die vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? 
The Pentagon's plan to use you was already oh, successful oh, oh, oh. in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell Snake you everything never you knows. want to know. If you come to where I am, that is. Where are you? Look up. Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Happy New Year, my mate. Liquid! How the... You've served your purpose? You may die now. Thank you, hi for ya. Happy to help? Appreciate the bitterinos and Happy New Year. This is a bigger twist than Snake, Wesker. That's bulletproof glass. Yeah, we know what he's gonna say. Oh, scary part! Oh, I wonder how they're gonna handle the scary part. Oh. oh, completely differently. In the original, it's like da -da -da -da, and he runs by. Liquid. Snake. Did you like my sunglasses? That sounded great. Oh, you that sounded like very your similar. Own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you. He does a great job easily. too. I forget the voice actor's you name, but Liquid and well, Ocelot do say. great. And <sighs> David Hater, yes. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking like, about? Like he actually sounds like following orders blindly with no super close to the original. Asked, You've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn, Snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages. It was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean that's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged along with bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. This was sent in a Are you telling patients. me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it we'll might have to search him to be up. unnecessary. Uh, yeah, why I'll is wait. that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the arms tech president and decoy octopus were killed by Fox. So it's called a Metal Gear Extra, because every single cutscene But Ocelot, my just and you, so extra the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. 
could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. I do like seeing both so of them in good true. graphics. You and I Talking. are. Good graphics. Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. You got recessive. all the old man's dominant genes. Look, this is like I got all the flawed recessive genes. That's twin snakes, Everything and then the original so is you solid snake. Would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. So you're saying I'm the dominant one? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what Deep. it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? It's twin snakes! <laughs> but I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Ha! Huh, love? It's hate. His choosing me knowingly oh, he delivered to be the that inferior way one? For this, I want revenge. You don't even understand this. You, who could kill your own real father. You stole my chance for revenge. Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him. I will destroy him. You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you. My Unlike God. you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. That's hate! You missed your last chance! You regret <laughs> that God. forever! That sounded like Wesker. Me and my brother were like this when we were younger. Witness to the demon weapon that will drag the world into the 21st century. God, I hope this wasn't uh I, I hope this last fight isn't as simple as the other ones. Whoa! Nah, me and my brother just fought all the time. Classic alarm sound effect. No, I saved Meryl this time. <laughs> My God. The cars. Car tire is screeching again. I am afraid for the uh, for the Gray Fox scene because his voice actor in this game is just ugh. a 
Hello? Oh, it's 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 one of these. Okay, I'll just sit here and, and shoot. You know, if leaving the menu worked, I would actually try and do this boss fight normally. Every single boss fight is just, well, besides the tank. Did that do it? Wheels Hurry, for movement in this away. game, and he just stood there. Gray Fox, a name from long ago. It sounds better than Deep Throat. You're damn right, it does. So it is you. You look terrible, Snake. You haven't aged well. Fuck is talking? I'll send you back to hell. I know he says that as like a wink and a nudge to him actually not hating them. Thank you, Elias. Fox, why? What do you want from me? I'm a prisoner of death. Only you can free me. Fox, stay out of this. What about Naomi? She's hell-bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi... You're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. I was young then. And couldn't bring myself to kill her, too. Oh, I felt so bad that I decided to take Thank her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now, she thinks of me as her brother. Fox. Outwardly, we may have seemed like contented brother and sister. But every time I looked into her eyes, I trembled with fear. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. There you are! We're just about out of time. Here's a final present from Deep Throat. I'll stop it from moving. The final present from Deep Throat. Has anyone ever heard that in college? Mega Man.
Unleashed. We don't hunt foxes. We hunt jackals. Instead of foxhounds, we use royal harriers. Fox! Oh, How Jesus. How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? He's using a blue yeti for that one. Snake, are you just going to sit by and watch him die? He destroyed the radar. Impressive! You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox, but now you're finished! Now, fire the stinger! Fox! Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too! I can't do it. Now, in front of you. It's no good. I can't, can't do it. Die. It's no good. I can't do it. After Zanzibar land, I was taken from the battle. Oh, Neither the music. It alive, just makes me sick. Nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. But soon. I hate- they butchered this. I'm getting like flushed in the face, I hate it so much. I want to cry. DIE! Fox! Snake! We're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing. The only thing I was good at. But at least uh, I always fought for what I believed in. I just Some of the cutscenes are mighty of like Not, not the Sims. Foolish, man. There's a game called The when Movies, made by intrinsic. Lionhead Studios, where you make your own cutscenes. And it reminds me of that decided. a lot of the time. Might be something about this graphical style, but I don't know. It just seems so cheap. You see, you can't protect anyone. Not even yourself. Oh, I love Lionhead Studios. What the hell is this? He doesn't like blades. Keep that for a friend one day. as good as the ocelot fight Snake, why do people I'll hate this game they ask dust. i wonder dude i fucking wonder like open your eyes and unplug your take out your earplugs and don't blame the player on that shit i just fucking sat there and pressed a
it's on normal, but I mean, normal Metal Gear Solid is actually pretty tough sometimes. Sleeping late as usual, eh, Ow. Snake? Liquid, you're still alive. If the music was good during that section, die. it would still be decent, but... As long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I'm done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? The restoration of the era when warriors such as us lived as we should. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It, it was, was his, his dying, dying wish. When he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, Wait. we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mystic. Conflict shall breed conflict. New hatreds will arise, and our own biosphere shall steadily expand. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? Isn't that reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie! So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? Well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing, that's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That was... <laughs> I, I watched your face as you delivered the coup de grace. Oh, it reflected such vitality. You're wrong. There is a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Can you do the trick in this created. game? Created. Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. I'm an it started said no. in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was a man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. Us. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning Super and Baby Method. The Super Baby Method. Super Baby Method. They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. So wait, this is a then lie, they right? transferred the clones or wait, to not someone's this. uterus, and later intentionally this. aborted six of the wait, fetuses I forget. How was... to encourage strong fetal growth. How was Solidus made? You and I were originally Wasn't it the same octuplets. Way? Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even oh, born. Okay. But so, he was just a bit later. It was you and I. Two fertilized oh, okay. eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig 
to create a phenotype in which oh, with all the dominant aging. genes uh, were expressed to create you. I got all the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. Happy New Year. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But unlike us, they carry it digitally. With the completion of the Human Genome Project in the last century, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, Kojima they watched were able too to much identify Star Wars more than 60 two. soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted using gene therapy into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. Yeah, I'm just memeing. That's I want, right. was, was the Clone Wars the genome soldiers in existence in text right before the movie? I actually have no clue. brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? They are misshapen creatures, artificially produced from father's genetic pattern. They are our blood brothers, and they were born of many an ultimate sacrifice. Sacrifices? Human experiments. Uh, oh god, that face. <laughs> 1991, the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to pesticides and radiation from depleted uranium rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. He doesn't know. First, they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons, poison gas detection units, anti-sarin injections. This is probably just, the just to cover up the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are. Yes, they too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We're on the verge of extinction. What? Have it's you not... ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nose. Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem, signs of symmetry. So do I, as do you. It's like Owen Wilson and... That's uh... right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. What's his name? We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's this, genetic yeah, ben information. Yeah, Ben This is basically Zoolander. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. <laughs> in nature, family members don't mate with each That's other. That's who should play them in the movie. they help each other to survive. Do you know why? <laughs> no, see. Because it increases the chances that shared genes will be transmitted to future generations. Altruism Watch, among he constantly blood flares is a his response to up. natural selection. That we will help our blood relatives is inscribed in our very genes. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And Thank then you, Great White. I'm going Watch to that go nose. beyond in order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you. 
Look behind you. Meryl? Is she alive? Hmm. I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No. We have no past, no future. If we did, our fate is nothing but what is determined in the genes we inherited from our father. Let Meryl go. As soon as we finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Maybe I will. Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me! The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? AWACS. To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence, along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may be only a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Hey, Ripper. Those bastards. I'm sorry. You bastards! They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You'd better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. Huh? What are you doing? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake, the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. President this Lincoln. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Hausman. Put the colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest. Secretary. For leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he is a Wait ridiculous a man. This isn't. He truly believed that Sorry, he was I'm in stupid. This, this isn't operation. the guy Ocelot called at the end Bastard. of three, is it? There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. I only ask that because he's like the director. Ordered this. The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska? Oh, Solidus, okay. Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Damn it! Oh, yeah, You'll yeah. You're murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief, Donald. is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. Oh, he yeah. He was my friend. Okay. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc... I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. 
Wait, I, our country's dirty little secret. I said at the end of you three. You can't be allowed to oh, live. Oh, it was Mr. Director. You're just the lingering oh, yeah. ghosts of a system that is no more. Well, do try to get along in the time you have left before the bomb. <laughs> oh, there's no way out for us. So, okay. Let's finish this before the airstrike. Yeah, you we beat stole Metal Gear 3. everything from me. I shall nullify you and your genes, and I will take them all back. She'll make a I'm very excited sacrifice to see uh, battle. what this fight's like, because all the other ones are awful. Do you see this? This will be the time limit for our final battle. Oh, hell yeah. When death comes for this girl, this nuclear module shall vanish from this world as well. If hell you yeah. win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. I'll have that love with Otacon, thank you. Yeah. And if you cross this line, you'll fall. At this height, it'll kill even you. I hope the stun locks in this one. <clears throat> Snake. The punch. Oh, yeah. They fixed it. They fixed it. What the fuck is this music? This is like a parody. God, this is silly. Is that all you've got? Wait. Wait a sec. Can you just can you just ride his ass the whole time? I think you can. You definitely can. It just lets you beat the shit out of every boss. Oh, I thought he'd go left. Patience. It just feel I can't I can't put my finger on what this game feels like.
Feels like Dragon Ball. Look, it's Goku versus Vegeta. I fucking love the final fight in 4. I think it's amazing. Like, compare those Meryl. two fights. Meryl. Meryl. can say Meryl, you must have been terrible but it wasn't that bad I didn't give in to the torture torture and things even worse than that I was fighting too just like you You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with Oops. me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. <gasps> Snake, I wanted to see you again. Meryl. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of when two people have like good chemistry or whatever, or end up in a relationship sort of. And then the next iteration, whether it's a movie, book, or game, they're just like, oh, who's that? <laughs> That's so awkward. Like, the graphics... That's my codec. Honestly, these these like better graphics cheapen the experience. I don't know how to explain it. It's just it's just like they're plastic. Like Snake, it's me. It looks like you stopped Rex. This Otacon, was this was this was at the Meryl's time where okay. the transition All to like right. you saved her, man. Better the next gen was just awkward. Yeah, I got some bad news too. We're about to be bombed. Like it's almost oh boy. It's just age like shit. I guess we're considered expendable. Like early Is 3D. There a way out of here. A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No, it's a small entrance to the west of that door. Like, every everything's How so shiny. I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security. Oh, man, our real boyfriend. Too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. 
I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Oh man. I want to see the other Snake, ending. Snake. I'm a complete I did call her, yeah. I found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Merrill, okay? I will. Okay, I got to go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. Two guys just got a compliment and Let's they remember the it forever. What about him? Shocking. Where is Otacon? He's fighting right now. With his old self to be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah, and I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. Hear that back. Surprised I didn't do a triple backflip. Snake. Meryl. What if he accidentally said Otacon? It started. I must be heavy. Looks like we're not gonna have a love scene. Thank you, Shand, for the 60 months. Nice to see you, sir. You're in my top four viewed Looks streamers. Bad Too bad. Let's get out of here. Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. Around, Snake. Oh my god. There's my sneaking suit. Hurry up! Hurry! What? He's back, baby. Now, this is my least favorite snake. Mm, looking good, snake. I mean twin snakes a snake, not Metal Gear Solid 1 snake. Hurry! What the fuck is this music? I'm so sick of the garbage music. Let me drive. Dude, they better at least have the escape theme nailed down. Please play some sick escape music. Come on. The escape music is my favorite in the original. Yikes. It's thrown in. Not yet, Snake. It's 
not over yet! Liquid! Like Silent Hill Homecoming. Ah! Or Downpour. Ah! Dear. Damn. Snake. Yeah, Patch. I, I, yeah, I can see that. Snake. Gotta have that Lego comedy. Like, what was the point of that? Was that, like, supposed to be comedy, or...? If he's dead, it's like a bunch of kids made this. That means. Don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? 
No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel! Are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early <sighs> retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? Mm -hmm. What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 bombers have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. Hell yeah. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Merrill's fine. Really? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a Colonel. Oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. Oh. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expected you to come home alive. Me neither. I'd better not show my face around there. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. It's not too far from the truth. There's also a helicopter waiting for you at the Fox Islands. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay. Roy. Are you going to be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all of Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. Yeah, okay. The battery on these nano machines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I'll look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said she wants to talk to you face to face about that. We're gonna hear. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling's with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi? I heard about my brother. Uh, Fox, no, Frank wanted to tell you something. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought on sheer willpower until the very end. Maybe... Maybe now he's finally found some peace. My brother was already dying. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar land, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> does he? Does she ever figure out? In, in the fourth Naomi, one. Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I going to go? <laughs> That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time's up. Yeah. So when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Yeah, I mean, this is fine. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you. The slightly depressed monotone fits for the slightly depressed situation. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code, inscribed into their genes. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before, the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came like, I, from. I don't think the voice acting is like, the I never think the voice acting is atrocious DNA, overall. It's just like, I could find out who I was. Consistently bad. And then there's glimpses of some good. And I thought that if I knew that, 
then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information. Where's the sorrow? But that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that its genetic information houses a person's strengths or destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Yeah, this f this fits. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake. Whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. Welcome. The important thing is that you choose life. For having and then so I don't live. What a roller coaster of mixed don't emotions. you think, Snake? Some good elements, but mostly don't just worry. A happy words. Happy I'm gonna choose life too. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate Until it. today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from now on. I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to what will come. All life is tethered to the future. Loving each other, teaching each new generation, then the world can change. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or a reminder of the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. My survival instinct that tells me not to die. That's all the motive I've had in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. But Otacon! So, where to, Snake? David. My name is David. <laughs> okay, so where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. New purpose? A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? I know we'll find we'll it. We'll find it. I know we'll find it. Oh my god. Hey, what are those? Caribou. To the illusions, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time. But Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky. The sea. The caribou. And most of all... You. It's nice, isn't it? Being alive. That could have been Otacon. Let's enjoy it. But life. you guys made me save her. <laughs> Most of all, the caribou. Ouch. 
Here's a final present from Deep Throat. Happy New Year, <laughs> Bork and the Soup Troop. Thanks for all the streams this year. Bork glad. Thank you, Ace. I appreciate it. Yo, and thank you, Mindless, for the 20 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Enjoy, everybody. You got a gifted sub. Thank you again, Mindless. Thank you. And thank you, Ben Pina, for the 13. Thank you. Holy moly. That was beautiful. Um, I'm probably I'm gonna play something. Well, we I promised I would watch the uh, the cinema for Metal Gear Solid 3, so we'll watch that on YouTube. Um, and maybe I'll do something else since it is New Year's. You're rising now. Um, we'll see. Yeah, I might stream for. I don't know. I'm not sure. Thank you again, Mindless. Thank you, Ben. Please do. No, you can do it on an emulator. I have to do my cooking stream soon. Yeah, everything we're talking about, I'm probably going to do next year. Yeah, Silver Wolf, Wolf, there's a stream. <laughs> All right, guys, give this give this game a score out of 10. What'd you think? Holy moly. I wonder how it got reviewed. Twin Snakes reviews. A lot of sevens. I was expecting that. IGN 8.5, GameSpot 8.2, Metacritic 85. I honestly sadly think that this game has aged worse than the original. But yeah, overall, um, like, people kept asking the same question. Uh, if I were to play through, through Metal Gear, which one should I play? One or Twin Snakes? I think to someone that hasn't experienced, like, Metal Gear Solid before. And, like, this game is fine. But, uh, like, it, it tells the same story. And it, like, all the same stuff happens. It's just that MGS1 is in my opinion just a higher quality game almost entirely what what kills this game for me really what i th well what i what i think is like almost ruins this game is the soundtrack it's just like the soundtrack is a huge part of metal gear solid it it, it helps push the emotion that the the that kojima wants you to feel 
And it just isn't in this game, ever. Like, there's a couple decent songs, sure. But like, overall, the soundtrack is like, horrific. It's just super generic and just all the songs, besides the ones that have hints of Metal Gear Solid Original, they just blend together and it's just like, ah, oh, man. Like that escape is so forgettable. Uh, I don't know, Mustard. And it's not even that I think that Metal Gear Solid 1 has like a god tier soundtrack by any means. There's only like 10 songs or whatever. It's just that the theme of the game is so fucking good. And then they use that theme and, and embed it into the other songs throughout the game. So it's always in your mind. And then at the end of the game for the grand finale, they're playing a very, very intense version of the theme song to the game. Allow and it all... To be chained to fate. To be ruled combines by together to make a great experience. And this game just doesn't have any of that aspect. The type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Yeah. Oh! Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Yes. Yes, sir. Thanks to the vaccine. So he's talking to yes, Solidus. Those two are still alive. The vector? Yes, sir. Fox die should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, there are no other records. They've all been deleted from the base's computer. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA <gasps> chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes. Yes. Liquid is dead. The inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Of course, the other one thinks so, too. Yes, sir. I agree completely. It takes a well-balanced individual such as yourself to rule the world. Yes. Yes, sir. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one. Solidus. What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I understand. The surveillance will continue. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. President. Da -da -da -da. Aina. Hell yeah. Mr. President. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, B, B, B. Oh, please take me to where I want to go. Ready? Oh, guys, watch this. Go! Okay, ah! hey, wait, wait. Unoptimal. Unoptimal. Can I quit out? I can't. Just wait.
What a boss fight. I'm not fighting this garbage. Go! How do you quit? What's the actual speed strat to this fight? Oh my- oh yeah, I can just die, I guess. I like the no iframes when you get hit by the fucking tank. This is text. Oh! Oh, we can't see anything else. All right, so do you guys want to watch the uh, the secret theater? I said I was going to watch it yesterday, but I promised I'd watch it today. I don't even know what it is.